Source number two. Source number two is also by John O'Sullivan. John O'Sullivan is speaking here about annexation. Annexation means to bring in or make a part of. And what he's referring to is the annexation of Texas. One small problem, Texas doesn't belong to the United States. And he wants to have it become a part of this country. It belongs to Mexico. Mexico won its independence from Spain in 1821. Mexican government decided that they didn't have enough presence in the territory and they needed to have settlers there, so they invited Americans in. All the Americans that were invited to settle in Texas territory had to do was just follow Mexican government laws, which were pretty straightforward. The one the Americans couldn't get around, though, was you couldn't bring slaves, according to the Mexican government, into the Texas territory, and of course Americans brought slaves. When they did this, the, Mer the Mexican government told them it was time for them to get out, and the Americans didn't follow the rules, uh, and they didn't follow the directive of the Mexican government. John O'Sullivan says these words, It is time now for opposition of the annexation of Texas to cease, to stop. It's time for the common duty of patriotism to the country to succeed, or if this claim will not be recognized, it's at least time for common sense to acquiesce with decent grace. Texas is now ours, already, before these words are written. Her convention has undoubtedly ratified the acceptance by her Congress of our invitation into the Union. It is time, then, that all should cease to treat her as alien. She is no longer to us a mere geographical space, a certain combination of coast, plain, mountain, valley, forest, and stream. She is no longer to us a mere country on the map. Further tension will lead to interested parties in thwarting our policy and hampering our power, limiting our greatness and checking the fulfillment of our manifest destiny to overspread the continent allotted by Providence for the free development of our yearly multiplying millions. This we have seen done by England, our old rival and enemy. So what John O'Sullivan is referring to here is he wants to see Texas come in. He wants to see to the United States. He wants to see the debate stop and to make this happen right now. Based on this text, and your first question corresponding to this slide is, what is O'Sullivan calling on Americans to do? He's saying, stop the debate, bring Texas in now. The next question, O'Sullivan, what does he fear may happen if the Americans ignore his advice. And he makes reference to Great Britain here. Well, you remember, Great Britain tried to restrict the expansion of the American colonies into the West with the Proclamation of 1763 after the French and Indian War. Furthermore, Britain tried to stop the progress of capitalism in the colonies by demanding more and more taxes and placing more restrictions on, as the American people saw it on their daily ways of life. So the answer to number two is that the country will become divided and will lose its influence over others and lose its path in westward expansion and the goal of manifest destiny if we don't annex Texas now. We will repeat the same mistakes that other countries, including our old arch nemesis England, has made.